All right, so it's my job in this short amount of time just to advertise and try and convince you to do this. Um, now, the course that is being offered is called Teaching Academic Writing, Moving Students Towards a More Written-like Writing Style. Um, and it comes from the assumption that kids need to be taught how to write. And often for us as uh, high school teachers, we ourselves haven't been taught um, all the tools that we can use and implement in the class to be able to help our kids write better. Um, we're good at providing structures and scaffolds, but there's some knowledge that we just honestly weren't taught through high school um, or even in university that would honestly really come in handy in the classroom environment. And the difficulty and also the fun comes in being able to give that knowledge to kids and be able to use that themselves. So I guess um, if I sum up the course really in terms of its main features, the first one is that we're going to talk about grammar and we're going to learn some real basic um, English grammar and hopefully be, learn it enough to be able to confidently impart it into our kids and, and be able to use it in the classroom. Um, the second thing we're going to learn hopefully from each other is just the ability to prepare um, a full scope of lessons that help kids be able to write beyond just the um, usual kind of cramming of writing an essay towards the end of a topic. Um, we're going to kind of extend it out a bit more and look at what kids actually need to be able to write really well um, and to be able to set them up for that. So if I give you just a quick overview of our intentions and success criteria over the course of this whole little TPL experience, um, the main learning intentions are to know English grammar terms, which I'm going to call the, the grammar toolbox, give you some of the basics. Um, to understand the differences between spoken-like and written-like language and how we can use this uh, knowledge to help students change their natural writing style to a more written-like style. You've probably noticed, even in stage uh, six students, that a lot of their writing style is very uh, spoken-like, uh, like they're speaking it as opposed to um, writing it, which is the way that we want them to write. So we're gonna talk about the differences between these two forms of writing and hopefully know what we need to teach to be able to move them along the scale to be uh, more written-like writers. And finally, to get some strategies to actually help to not only teach writing, but also to assess writing and to feed forward our students towards a more effective writing style. Um, some of the things that we'll do is we'll annotate and deconstruct some extracts of writing, both good and bad writing, for some basic grammar. We'll hopefully, you'll, you'll hopefully be able to explain the differences between spoken-like and written-like language by the end of this. Um, you'll hopefully be able to teach lessons that uh, help students understand the differences between their writing and the ultimate goal that we're looking for, which is more written-like responses, and also to give you some uh, ability to create resources that will help um, to improve their writing um, using a bit of EALD pedagogy. Now, how would this kind of work? Um, well, the first thing that you're doing right now is listening to like a content lecture, and this is going to be the main way that I'm going to impart the basics. It just means that we can get more people involved, and it doesn't mean you have to do the kind of face-to-face -face stuff. You can do it at your own pace. So um, I'll have just three short lectures, hopefully between 15 to 20 minutes, that kind of teach you the basics. And then from there, once those lectures are watched or once they're experienced, we'll be able to have some small group seminars where we start to apply some of these skills and reinforce them just a little bit more, um, especially when we're talking about English grammar and, and being able to learn those things to be able to use them in the classroom. Don't worry, it's not too difficult. Um, well then, once that aspect of the course is done, the small group seminars, um, I'll look to timetable in um, some regular or irregular opportunities um, to mentor and to help you be able to implement th these things that you've invested time to learn. Um, hopefully it'll be just a real organic, casual um, experience where I can really just help out as much as I can and you can impart your own wisdom into my um, teaching to be able to improve ourselves. And if you want to, we can have some lessons where I come in and team teach with you or even just demonstrate some strategies um, or maybe work on something together where we can um, put these things into practice. So those are the four main things that you'll kind of do. 
the lectures, the small groups, the mentoring, and the lesson demonstrations. Um, now, how will I assess your progress? Look, my job really is just to hope that you are imparted with as much wisdom as possible. Um, now, these are all optional things, but if you wanted to really go full on, um, we can do some practice tasks that will hopefully kind of educate you a little bit and, and uh, help you to understand English grammar in particular and some EALD pedagogy. Um, I may even give you some tests if you want to kind of stretch yourselves a little bit more and, and see how much you've actually picked up along the way. No obligation, don't have to do that. Um, it'd be cool for us to sit down together and look at some uh, writing samples that your students are creating in the class. Um, so I can come in and um, create a writing task and the students can complete that task and we can look at those samples together and kind of point out, um, I guess, the main issues with writing and how we can work on a plan to improve them. And also some lesson observations. If you really feel like you want somebody to come in and you know see how you're doing things, um, I can be a second set of eyes to help you to uh, just maybe notice some things in your own pedagogy that could be improved or to give you some ideas that maybe you've never had before and we can work on some things together. I guess this is kind of like a, a real small snapshot of what I'm hoping will be the end result. Once we've finished all the mentoring and done all the things that we need to do, um, I'm hoping that you'll notice that writing texts um, are constructed within specific contexts. And I'll talk about field tenor and mode in the first lecture of the course, but I'm just hoping that you'll, you'll start to see writing as a part of a bigger context. Um, I think you'll start to observe the differences between your students and how they each write paragraphs differently. Um, and you'll see that your stronger students um, have a grasp on what it means to actually write a written like piece. And some of your students who maybe are struggling are still caught in the spoken-like style that we can look to address. Um, thirdly, I'm hoping that you'll have a, a common language with your students, which is grammar, and that you'll be able to talk confidently about what's actually going on within their writing to be able to make some real specific feedback to help them improve. Fourthly, I'm hoping that you'll kind of notice differences between what you write uh, sorry, what they write and what you expect from them and bridge the gap between the uh, models that you give them and what they give you and hopefully try to work towards some better writing. And finally, um, I'm hoping that you yourself will become a better writer and that you can provide some good models, some good showing how to actually do this um, to help your students move along. So the three topics that'll frame or three lectures that'll come up after this, three seminars will be, why do students struggle to write like I want them to write? And we'll go through and unpack why that is. Number two, what do I need to know to, be, to improve my students' writing? And there's a bazillion things, but I'll just focus on the real basics of English grammar to help you to uh, move them along a little bit. And finally, uh, how do I help my students improve their writing? Um, we'll focus on really a real general um, like scope and sequence plan for the teaching and learning cycle um, that will hopefully help you to develop units that develop writing um, and help these kids get these stage six HSC, band five and band six answers that we'd hope all of them uh, will achieve by the end of their schooling years. So. Whether you teach stage four, whether you teach across a whole range of KLAs, um, this will all be very uh, generic and very uh, applicable to all KLAs. And so I'm hoping that if this at all interests you, that you'll uh, give it a shot and maybe talk to me a little bit more about it if you're interested. But for now, feel free to sign up to an expression of interest to let me know a little bit more about what I can do to help you. There's no obligation to finish this course you can take whatever you want, you can trash the rest. Um, I'm just here to help, and this is just what I love doing. So, uh, yep, sign up today and let me know if you're keen. Yeah.